Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The centurion said, truly, this man was God's son. There were also women looking on from a distance. Tonight, we join those women. We join Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James the Younger and of Joseph and Salome and many others in witnessing these events from a distance. Theirs was a short distance. They were close enough to see and hear what was happening, to be shocked by the crowd's bloodlust, to flinch as insults were hurled at Jesus, to feel the pain in their own bodies as Jesus bled, as he cried out in pain and struggled for breath. They did not flee. They stood at a distance and watched the worst humans could do to one another, to one they loved. Without their witness, we would not have this story. We would not be able to witness these events from the greater distance of time. We can scarcely imagine the strength it took for them to stand there, to wait as Jesus' broken body was taken down from the cross, as Joseph wrapped that body in new linen and laid it in a tomb. They stayed until the stone was rolled against the door of the tomb, until there was nothing left but sorrow. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? The song goes. No. But we know the story because of the women who were there. I can't help but think of all the other women throughout history and today who have looked on from a distance as their loved ones were unjustly accused, insulted, beaten, stripped, and killed. Part of the power of this story is that it is not an isolated event in human history. Violence is a story almost as old as the love that birthed the universe. Last night, we talked about every table being God's table, all water being the water of baptism, all love being God's love. And tonight, we remember that this sorrow is all sorrow. This grief is all grief. All of our losses, large and small, all of our failings, all of our weaknesses and frustration and imperfection, all of the times we have felt victimized, all of the times we have victimized others, all of the times we have looked on from a distance and felt powerless to do anything. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The temptations on this day are hopelessness and despair. Jesus died on the cross, and although crucifixion has gone out of style, every day we witness the heartbreaking consequences of fear and hatred in our world. There were also women looking on from a distance. They are the ones to whom we look tonight. They are the ones with whom we stand. Witnesses to the sorrow that is all sorrow, grieving the grief that is all grief. 
When we feel that we can do nothing at all, may we remember the simple power of bearing witness. If we can bear to look, if we can bear to stand and watch, then we might pray to have the power to tell that story. Our story will join with other stories, and we will know that we are not alone. And while we are sharing stories, we may receive grace to remember that the story of violence is not the only story. There is an older and truer story of love. Love that bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love that never ends. <laughs>